Hello, Elisabeth Bolund. Hello, Razesh Sainuddin. What have we done now? We have done a pretty elaborate water setup for the cowsies. Rather simple also. So there are buckets here and there are these little flutarer floats yeah. in them that are gonna... They're coming. Stop the water from flowing once yeah. they're full. Yeah. And then there's two of them. They're hooked up to the garden come, come hoses. Here. She's coming. And the cows and are coming and being very curious. I think we may have to put something heavy so that they don't tip it over. And yeah. So they have to wait patiently for the water. Yeah. Come here, Rosie. I'm gonna try both of them. Rosie, come here. Over here, Rosie. Hey, for the There's a bit more water here. You can try it. I can yeah. get out of your way. So you guys, you girls don't fight with each other and push each other too much. Yeah, so okay. they're at a, a bit of a distance and hopefully the cows will not like chew on yeah. the components here. They shouldn't as long as the water is filled up before they get yeah. there. But I think they are smart and they'll figure it out. In the worst case we will put two concrete rings in the bottom to make it heavy so it doesn't move ah, the buckets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, they're kicking each other a little they're bit. Kicking each other. Okay. okay, so that is it for our dynamic polygonal randomized block designable constraint solution to the water supply problem. Oh no! Ay, oh. Ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Five, patient. six, seven is acting up as usual. She's gonna yeah. make the whole thing fall. Nope. No, she'll be alright. Managed. Okay, it's time for dinner, I guess. Bye. Let's get the meat out of the <laughs> oven.